Morning everybody, welcome to my old viewers and my new viewers here in sunny Tenerife. This is Webby Sports Roundup. Today we got an absolute phenomenal show. One of my all-time mates, known him for many, many years, living in Kalasovaki. He is a massive Rangers football fan. I've wanted to get him on the show for quite a while. One or two things have been happening, so I've got him on this morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. As you can see, Lagomera behind me, and we're going to have an absolute cracking show but please note he's got so much memorabilia and so many things to talk about what we're probably going to do is going to do in two parts we're going to have part a today in a month or two months time then we will have part b then when he comes back on he's going to tell me how rangers is doing in the premier league up there in scotland <laughs> Before we start the show, and I introduce him, me man Paul Stewart, I wanted to a couple of big shout outs. Uh, right, first and foremost, my pal who's coming out in September, massive Rangers fan, home and away, Davey and Jenny. What a lovely, lovely fella. He's over in September. Now, the reason I'm giving him a big shout is because he's got two kids, Gary and Emma. Gary, yeah, you're having a baby. Not you, your good lady, Lisa. It's due in January and you're gonna make your mum and dad very, very happy. So for you two, congratulations, <laughs> fingers crossed, everything's gonna go okay, all right? That's to you, Dave and Jenny, and Warren and Gaz. Right, another big shout out. This is me pal in Kilsyth. He has got a butcher's. I've seen it on the TV, I've seen it, photographs. It's one of the best butchers in Kilsyth, if not the only one. Right, Big John, John the Butcher we call him. It is one to three Main Street in Kilsyth. Now, what I want to say, I'm going to put a couple of pictures behind me. Well, Tim's going to do it. Anybody goes in there, you've got to give a big shout. You've got to say, oi, are you big? Well, you know he's big, John, because there's a reason behind the B.I.G., isn't there? All right? He's not the smallest guy on the road. He's absolutely lovely. All right? He's one of my good, good pals. I've met him through Ian, who's got a place over here. I've got a big shout to Ian and Jane. So if anybody goes in there, you've got to walk in and say, oi, I've seen you on Webby Sports Show. Then... Listen, whether you'll get discount, I don't know. I don't know whether he is, say, 10, 15, 20, have a bit here. I'm sure you look after. So, big John in Kilsyth, John the Butchers. Right, who else we got to say hello to? Big Stevie, Stevie and Lorraine, they were a few weeks ago. Massive Rangers fan. He's over on the rigs in Aberdeen. Loves his GGs. If you want to give him a bit of a tip, and if you want to give John the Butcher a tip, they all like the GGs. That's why I get hold of them. So, Oh, hi, Steve. Morning. Is it cold up there in Aberdeen? I hope it is. You're missing sunny Tenerife, aren't you? And uh, who else we got? Big shout-out to Graham at the Palm Sports Bar in San Eugenio Alto. Big Leeds fan and a big, big Rangers fan as well. So how are you, big man? Right, listen. OK, everybody, welcome and good morning. And without further ado, let's bring on the main man, Paul Stewart, massive Rangers fan and a very good friend of mine for the last few years. Paul, how are you, big man? Nice to see you, Webby. And nice to see you too, sir. Absolutely superb. Absolutely delighted to get on your show. I know it's been difficult getting here with work and one thing or another, but uh, thanks for inviting me on. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to put the Rangers point of view over. Uh, hopefully I won't upset too many Celtic fans. I wouldn't want to do that. I know you're a closet Celtic fan as well, Webby. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Well, we all have our football teams, don't we? But, yeah. you know, like anything else. Well, listen, what I usually do when I interview people is I try and find out their upbringing and why they support that particular football football club. Obviously, yep. granddad, dad, and so on. Yep. So give the viewers a bit of an insight on that, please. Yeah, Paul. well, I certainly didn't have, like my two daughters, I didn't have any choice with what football club I supported. I was born a Rangers fan. And if you actually look through the Rangers family and the worldwide fan base, a lot of those fans are actually born Rangers fans. You just don't decide to go to school and become a Rangers fan. You actually are born a Rangers fan. I went to my first game in season 66, 67. Uh, couldn't tell you who we played. You know, I was far, far too young. But I went then yep. and started going on the bus with my dad. So, yeah, down to my dad. Down to your dad. Yeah, born and, one. I think off, off area toy. I think your granddad was a Rangers fan as well. Yeah, my gra my granddad was a Rangers fan as so well. So we can't go too far because obviously, yeah. <laughs> obviously Rangers were uh, founded back in the 
late 1800s, uh, weren't they? 1872, yeah. maybe to be precise. There was a bit of a deflection with, with 1872 <laughs> yeah. and 73, yeah. isn't it? Well, the, fun, the, funny, the funny thing was, right, that Rangers celebrated their, their centenary year, their 100th hundred, hundred year, yeah. uh, in 1973, and we actually played Arsenal uh, as part of our centenary year. But when they were going through uh, clearing out cupboards, etc., in Ibrox, yeah. they actually found documents that actually told us no. that we were actually born in 1872. So we must be the only club in the world to get the year that we were born actually, spot wrong. On. <laughs> yeah, spot on wrong. Oh, well. <laughs> well, listen, what I usually do, I like, I've got a few questions myself. No problem. Obviously, I've, I've gone through Wikipedia, and I know one or two anyway. And then, obviously, my number two, Terry, as you know, a big Liverpool fan. He is yeah. very Thursday night, don't forget, tell. I've got, to, I've got to keep sticking that one in. Yeah. Then he, he's given me a few questions that he likes to ask people. No problem. Then, in between halfway, then you've got a bit of sporting memorabilia and a few items that you want to mention yeah. yourself, etc. Well, I'm going to kick off this Scottish Premier League. Over the, past, over the years that I've been following Scottish football, which I love me Scottish football, yeah. whether it's Jambos, Hibbies, Motherwell, Hamilton, whatever, it's always only the top two, your Rangers and your Celtic. Yeah. Now, the big question is, if, if logistically you went into the Premier League in England, do you think you would do any good whatsoever, if you, even if you were given a big chunk of money? Yeah. Yeah. Rangers and Celtic, to be fair, would need a massive, massive chunk of money to to survive, first yeah. of all, to survive. Uh, if Rangers and Celtic went into uh, the Premier League, then what would actually happen is it would take a few seasons to build up. You know, so we'd probably be fighting relegation in the first number of seasons. Yeah. Uh, and then, realistically, I think you're talking maybe mid-table finishing yeah, yeah. maybe 10th once because our fan base is so big yes, yes. Uh, you know that would generate it and uh, so yeah I think we could finish I well, think we could support finish support you, you yeah. two clubs 50, 60,000 every, every but, other week right. you know. but taking the blue tinted specs off we're not going to be in the top four no, there's no. no way we're going no, to be in the top no, four I know. Uh, trying to get into the Champions League you know the best it might be conference uh, yeah. Europa League maybe in a great well, you get in the Champions League now obviously be yeah, finishing but, first or second yeah. but you've got to go through the playoffs right yeah, from the bottom yeah, to absolutely. play the small teams play early doors yeah, in July absolutely. and it's a bit of a nightmare because yeah, yeah. you've got a lot of fans still on the jollies yeah, and, so, exactly. and then the training is, is, is more intense uh, when season finishes it's, it's yeah it's, it's not easy is it? it's not easy um, this year ins and outs I'll just have a look, look. You've got eight new players. Is there anything? No, obviously you're not very happy with that. You should, is there anybody that's come and say, "Wait, but we've got this number eight, number nine, number three. Right. Is there anybody that's special that you think right. is going to? Apart from seeing them for thirty second, sorry, thirty minutes yeah. uh, on on Saturday in the pre-season friendly. Yeah. Uh, basically, the chap that came from Fiernord, Danello. Yeah. Uh, he seems he seems to be a goal machine. And I think we've paid six and a half million for him uh, with add-ons. So he needs to... Our, our problem's been, last season, our top goal scorer was James Tavernier, a right-back. Was he your top goal scorer? He was our top goal scorer. Full-back, yeah, captain, yeah, full, captain yeah, full-back. Cap now, granted, some of them were penalties, yeah, of course. but we, could, we didn't have anyone to put the ball in the net, Webby. So, no, no. Well. so this, is, this is hopefully our answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully our well, answer. You're, talk, you're talking championship money, aren't you, really, yeah. again? Yeah. You know, five, six, seven, up to ten million. Yeah. So you're not going to yeah. produce yeah. and bring in and attract the big players no. from abroad, no, are you? No, you, you, you never are, Webby. You, no, ne no. you never are. Owners. Who's the, who's, who, do you know who the owners are at right. the Rangers oh, Football okay. Club? Right. Is yeah. that a quick answer? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quick answer. Uh, basically, we, Rangers are a share-based football club, okay. right? Yeah. So Rangers, the, the Rangers fans actually are a big a big shareholder. However, yeah. the big the the big the biggest one is uh, Dave King and uh, parts of Hamilton. Uh, who's Donald? Who was our ex-chairman? John John Bennett is now our. our, our Are they Rangers fans? Uh, absolutely. Absol okay. All all first and foremost Rangers fans. All on the board, which is all, good. Yeah, all all Rangers so, fans. So, so they got they got it to heart. Yeah. One of you. I mean, oh. we can never we can never let happen what happened before. You know, when we were mismanaged. Well, that, that, yeah. Well, that's that's a question. I'll come back a little, yeah. a little bit later on. Yeah. Um, so, what are you expecting this season? I mean. Literally, 
because Celtic has bought a few, right. sold a few. Yep. You have them. Yep. Are you still expecting to be to, to, to make it a bit tighter this year or not? Uh, never mind tighter. Rangers need to win the league. They need to win the league this this year, right? And that will be that will be the test for. I mean for every single player, yeah, yeah. Uh, every single one of the coaching staff and the manager, Bale. We, we need to win the league. We were far too far away last year. Early doors you were. You picked up the end of the season, but that could have been Baseltic dropping off, couldn't Ab- it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Is Bale, is he the man for the job? <laughs> I, that is a. There's a lot of people didn't even know who he was. Yeah. He was num- Was he? He was QPR, wasn't he? He was. Q- he, he, I mean, basically, what happened was he he, he was with. He, Gerard brought him into to Rangers. Stevie uh, G. Stevie yeah. G brought yeah. him in as a coach. Uh, Steve, Stevie G then left, yeah. and uh, basically Beal went with him. Yeah. And uh, he then got the job in uh, with with QPR. I love to show you. Doing very very well yeah, at the did. start. Yeah, he did. Wolves came in from him. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he didn't go to Wolves, and uh, unfortunately for Van Bronckhurst, he was struggling. Yeah. And uh, the results—it's a results-based game. Every and, time, every uh, time, every and time. then and then Bill came in right now. He had a hard job because we were we were already nine points behind, you know. Yeah. And he didn't improve. No. Yeah. You, know, you know, I mean, he, he didn't improve on that. Apart from when Celtic had already won well, the, the league. Well, the trouble is, is when when you go into a new club with that time of the season yeah. then you've got the players that you've only got the players to play with absolutely it's not as if you can bring in take absolutely. out so you know you're not going to improve them really no, are you? you're not only with strategy yeah. uh, and there are his own training facilities yeah. so you know to stay level in that respect yeah. then uh, yeah. he did a reasonable yeah. job but you asked me the question yeah. is bill is bill for the job yeah by christmas asked me that question well, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah because it's if, if we're if we're not up in front then he's not he's not the man for the job and no, that's no. the way that's the way it goes in rangers but do you really honestly think from your heart that you can do celtic this year I've, right. you've obviously looked at celtic and see what they brought in yeah because jota was one of their yeah. top goal scorers yeah. he's gone off on the gravy train yeah. uh, and what have you yeah or is it just right. hope C- celtic celtic are without a doubt uh, favourites. Sh- they, they are favourites. They are streets ahead yeah. of everyone. Can I actually see many teams out with Rangers beating Celtic? Sorry, no. the answer's no. And that's no. not good for Scottish no, football. No, it's terrible. It's terrible no. for Agreed. Scottish football. Agreed. We we need a strong Aberdeen, Hearts, Hibs, uh, you know, challenge, yeah. challenging, you know. And unfortunately, if you look at the difference between second spot and third spot, yeah. it's massive. Well, well, Aberdeen were poor yeah, early season. Yeah, yeah. Then they had a great run the, to, great to, run, to yeah. finish third. But yeah, but I mean, seriously, still a big gap between. So, massive. Too so much. we need we need other teams in Scotland challenging so that they can take points off Celtic. Well, the Jambos, remember when I was a bit younger, Jambos, Hearts, they, that's hard to mid yeah. yeah. They were always there or thereabouts Absolutely. a few years ago, weren't yeah. they? And obviously Aberdeen, when they had McLean, yeah. uh, McLeish, McLeish. You know, McLeish, centre half, yeah. uh, and Willie Miller. Was yeah. it Willie Miller? Willie Miller, was, yeah. That Willie was years Miller. ago. That was, and it was all so tight, but yeah. now it's just a two-horse yeah. race, everything. Yeah. And that's why they... English supporters yeah. think, oh, here we go again. Rangers, yeah. Celtic, Celtic yeah. Rangers. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. Look at those. They don't look at anybody else. Yeah. And Dundee United, they get re- they got relegated. They got relegated, they? yeah. And my pal Liam Grimshaw, if you're watching Liam, um, he was ex May United under 21 captain. Then he went to Motherwell, uh, Preston. Now he's gone to Dundee United. He yeah. was at Greenwich Morton. Yeah. Now he's gone to Dundee United. So I hope you do really well, mate. I really, really do. Yeah. And get Dundee United. They deserve to be in the Prem, don't they? Yeah. They, they, they do. They, they do. They do. They're a, de- they're a big issue. Although, uh, although I don't like them, and I'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> There's not many you don't like. <laughs> How many you like? Is it? Right, listen. Success over the years, I mean, you're probably one of the top two in the world. I mean, end of the day, 50... So, so, sorry, wait a minute. Success of... Sorry, can I... Can I can you I, are number one can, in the world. Can, can, I, can I correct yeah, you? Yeah, go on, big man. At this precise moment in it's time, time. Yeah, this on, very moment, Rangers are the most successful club in you. the world. Yeah. We have won 117 trophies, 55 league titles, 34 Scottish go on, Cups. get it right, I've got tw- it. 27... He's got it right, look, he's got, he's got it right. 27 yeah. League Cups <laughs> and one European Cup yeah. Winners' Cup, right? Yeah, this we nice. actually don't... We don't count the four trophies we won yeah. when we went down to the lower leagues. We don't count them. <laughs> so technically it's 121, <laughs> but we will stick with 117, Webby. And but, I... but, 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 let me, but let me be honest. Yeah, go on, be honest. Celtic are on 116, so they're right behind us. Oh, I mean, 
me. So um, that one one six, and what have you got? One one seven. Oh, you joke. Oh, <laughs> so this should. <laughs> that's why. That's <laughs> why I get you quick. So that's why I get back to the question. <laughs> yeah. We have to win the yeah, league yeah, this yeah. year. Oh, so now we're now we're talking. All you Rangers fans, come on, get it sorted. First British club to do what? We were the first British club to get into a European final. Fantastic. Uh, in 1961. Uh, unfortunately, we lost 4-1 to Fontina, oh. but uh, but we, we we got there. However, let me let me let me just give, give some <laughs> give some credit where it's due. Actually, yeah, yeah, right. Of course. Glasgow Celtic were the first team to win uh, a European trophy, trophy in yes. 1967. Yeah, they were. However, what a lot of people don't know about that year okay. is Glasgow Rangers also got to the European Cup Winners Cup final. Okay. So two teams from Scotland Phenomenal. in 1967 got to European finals. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we lost to Bayern Munich that year. Yeah, gotcha. But, uh, but two teams got to the final. So uh, incredible. credit to Scottish football. Yeah, incredible. Uh, that shows you how far Scottish football has dropped. Has dropped. Yeah, you know what I mean, right. yeah, 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 yeah. You just need to look at the English Premiership, right? Not that long ago, how many Scottish players were in the English Premiership? If you look at the Notts Forests when they, when they were winning European Cups, Liverpool's, Leeds, you know, lots of Scottish players. Well, I remember right? Benny Bremner, Graham, yeah, Graham Sooness. Absolutely. Or just you know, Kenny of, Dalglish. Kenny, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, what, what a player. What a, what a player. What a player. Number ten. But yeah. If you look at it now, you know, you know. There's not many. You're very limited, aren't you? You know. Yeah. So there's Rob very... Robertson at Liverpool. Yeah, left foot. And yeah, full Tierney, back. Tierney at Arsenal. Well, yeah, he was at yeah. Celtic. Went yeah, on. yeah. Just talk about him leaving as well. Absolutely. Yeah. I Absolutely. actually, I actually had uh, spoke to Tierney's girlfriend's mum and dad in the Monte Cristo. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they did say something, but they didn't tell me what was going to happen. Yeah. But I think he was going to leave, and it looks yeah. on the cards. It looks it? like he could go. I think going to Scotland down to England, it's obviously not his cup of tea. Yeah. And I don't think he's um, yeah. basically. Enjoyed it down there, but he's nah, a good lady. I don't so think so. Now listen, supporters club. I, I, lo I love stats and what have you. Yeah. And I did check it out, and you confirmed it off air. Yeah. You have got how many supporters <laughs> official in the world? Right, officially in world that is registered to uh, Glasgow Rangers, there are 600 supporters clubs in over 35 countries in the world. Phenomenal. Which is incredible. The you know, if you go to conventions like uh, the North American Ranger Supporters Association and you look at the... North American? Yeah, right. Oh, I mean, that is a massive, massive yeah. uh, revenue income for uh, Glasgow Rangers. You know, the, yeah. the amount of merchandise that's bought from there. Yeah, of course. Ranger, Rangers do send over representatives to the convention. Sure. Uh, which yeah. and and if you look at the wall, that they, they have a they have a flag wall yeah. with all the supporters clubs, and people get their their flag on the wall. Brilliant. And there is countries from all over the world. Brilliant. You know, it is incredible. Absolutely it is super. absolutely incredible. Listen, I've got three items down on here, which um, the record, Manchester record. They, you know, the travelling fans. You know, I love I love stats about fans home and away yeah. and whatever. That's the record of how many fans went. Right. To that cup final, okay. give, give the viewers right. a, okay. Two anyway. over two hundred thousand fans went to, uh, to to Manchester. Rain soaked, I think. Was it? Was, yeah. it, was, it, was it bad weather? I think. Uh, the, 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 uh, to, to be fair, there had been a bit of rain, but uh, I think most of the soaking was the amount of beer that they yeah. actually drank. The supermarkets actually weren't sell selling single cans; you had to buy it by the case. Yeah, yeah. And that was a recipe for disaster for, the, it, oh. for the fans that didn't oh. have tickets. You know, oh, dear when me. the TVs went off, you know. <laughs> Well, listen, I've always said, you know, I've had three pubs over here and my, my best customers, whatever, has been my Scottish. <laughs> Honestly, have they, anybody knock them, I said, you're having a laugh, mate. Yeah. Believe me, they're the best customers on yeah, this, on this earth, that's for sure. And also, uh, you went to Seville, yeah. 20, 2022, uh, last year. Last year we went to Seville, which was fantastic because after we had been down in the doldrums, to come back and get to a European final was absolutely yeah, yeah. fantastic. There was over a hundred thousand oh, yeah. fans went to Seville, and uh, Deary, it, it was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. But the PSG, I mean, not PSG, the uh, the two hundred thousand. It would have been a sh it would have been fantastic if you'd have won that game. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, I yeah. did watch the game. Didn't yeah. play that well. Yeah. Nah. Uh, nah. Zenit St. Petersburg won it. Yeah. Zenit St. Petersburg won yeah. two 0 Yeah. Since since Petersburg won two 0 they scored late on, 
Uh, yeah. We we if you actually look if you actually look at that uh, that whole run, there was eight knockout ties. We only scored five goals no. in the whole of the, of the tournament. Of the whole of the tournament, Gosh, right? Okay, yeah. Now, so Walter Smith, to give him credit, what he did was he didn't go out and play attacking football. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, in the final, I thought he would have changed that, and yeah. he, and he would he would have maybe attacked more. Okay. But he, we sat back looking for the breaks, yeah. and we never, never got we never got them. Right. I got I've got to, I've got to bring it in. Obviously, he went down the doldrums. 2011 to 2012 administration. Yeah. Very very quickly. Right. Before you look at the question, what happened? What happened then? Right. Okay. At that year. Right. Let me let me try and give you let me try and give you the shortened version. Okay. Right. Yeah. HMRC, yeah. the Her Majesty's yeah, Revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 came after Glasgow Rangers. Now, why did they pick Glasgow Rangers? Well, they picked Glasgow Rangers because. They didn't want to go after the likes of Arsenal, no. Tottenham Hotspur, no. all these big clubs, yeah, yeah. right, who were doing exactly the, the same, same yeah. as Rangers, right? And it was Employees Benefits Trusts. That's what it was called, right? Okay. Now, that was the, the big tax case. Now, David Murray, who was the, the owner and chairman, chairman. Of, of Rangers, he was trying to sell it because Murray International Metals were struggling. The metal industry was struggling. Uh, yeah. He needed to sell Rangers. Now... He, he basically, unfortunately, although he told us he would only ever sell to a Rangers-minded person, yeah. what he actually did was sold to a rogue, right? <laughs> basically okay. a rogue, okay. right? Yeah. His, his name was uh, Craig White, okay? And so... Not a Rangers fan? Well, he, 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 came, he, turned up with, he turned up with a Rangers scarf yeah. on and, yeah, got, okay. and said the right noises. I, but, yeah, yeah. but let me give you an example, right? Rangers is steeped in history, right? In the early 1920s, Glasgow Rangers Football Club actually bought shares in Arsenal, right? Because Arsenal as a team were struggling, right? Okay. Now, they were in what we call the Blue Room, which is where all our memorable is, right? It's all there, right? Anyway, he sold those shares, right? He, he was like a venture capitalist. He went in and stripped Ibrox, right? Now, wait till you hear this. Although the big tax case, yep. the, the, the EBITDs, was hanging over us, right, which was a hundred and odd million, right, okay, so that was the big tax case. That is not why we went into administration. Why did Rangers go into administration? The, the reason was he never paid the tax on yep. the on the the players. Uh, earnings. Gotcha. He never paid the basic tax. Yeah, dodgy man. It was something like thirty thousand yeah, pounds. Yeah, and, and of course, when you owe, it Snowball. goes up and up and up and yeah. up. Interest, right? interest every day. Yeah. That is why we went. In, that's it's why we now. However, right, and let me get back to why I don't like Dundee United. Right. Oh, okay. Ah, right, because okay. this is connected. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. This is do. connected, Webby. Right. Listen to this, boys. There were certain. Rangers could have, there was nothing that said in the rule book that Rangers went from being in the Premier League down to uh, to the third yeah, division, yeah. where we went. It was, okay. it was Premier League, yeah. Championship, Championship, Div 1, Div 2. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, no? uh, uh, yeah. M m more, it, it went that way, okay, right? But yeah. it was actually the third division that we, okay. f first, first league we paid, they actually changed the, okay. into Rules, the Championship. Yeah. Anyway, okay. so let me tell you, let me tell you, there was nothing in Tablets of Stone that said we had to go down to the bottom tier. But Dundee United were one of the clubs, Thompson... Uh, was their chairman okay. and they were basically f trying to force that issue okay. to get us put down Fair. and that's what we did right now, granted I'm not standing here saying that Rangers the and and Arsenal and Tottenham as well no. they, the, it, was a lo it was a loophole not paying tax no, right I know, I know. so Rangers found a loophole yeah. and right so they should have been paying tax okay. they also should have been paying the tax on the players earnings they didn't, they didn't right they didn't right so they deserve to get punished right okay but right if you actually look at it the season before that yeah. Rangers were actually I think it was 11 points clear okay they gave us a 15 points uh, okay. deduction. Celtic yeah. won the league, right? Yeah, gotcha, okay. But then the following season got put down to the third division, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then every single player left us. Before we played Brecon uh, in a Challenge Cup game, their very first game after the uh, liquidation, 
we only had six registered players. Play six registered players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to be fair to McCoy, so, he done well to... Ali McCoy, yeah. Ali McCoy's yeah, yeah. done extremely well to, yeah, yeah. to get us out. So, yeah. Does, uh, your, does your answer, boys and girls? Yeah. That's the administration of the Rangers back in 2011 and 2012 from the main man. Right. Um, very, very quick. I'm gonna, now, what should we do? I'm just, just thinking what to do. We've got it. I'm going to do these questions quickly. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you a bit of time okay. on one of your bits. Right, right okay. Yeah. My Terry, number two. He loves asking these questions. Yeah, yeah. Number one, your favourite current player of Rangers. Favourite current player? Current player. Do you, do you know who they are? There's eight, <laughs> there's eight new ones. We've got, and we're just about to sign a ninth one. That, okay. That's about, well, I, I'm, I'm not... That would be totally unfair to actually say, yeah. uh, you know, who... Who the uh, the new the new ones? Because okay. I, I well, can't I can't well, call. Well, forget but, those. But but the actual the, okay. a, the actual ones that are that are, are still still there. I, I would say uh, Tavernier yeah. for his for his for his, for his, yeah. for his for goals. For his input, he right. Yeah. However, okay. he's never he's, he's never a defender. Okay. Right, he's yeah, a terrible yeah. defender. But going forward, what a player. Right. All-time favourite. Ah, I know you're going to say yeah, uh, we talked about right, right, all-time favourite right, player right, for Rangers right, football club. Right. Okay. There's only there's only one Quickly, man. We've got all Paul, these Paul Gascoigne. Paul Gascoigne. Uh, absolutely best player I've ever seen. Quality. Absolute quality. quality. Best game you've ever been to. <laughs> whether uh, whether it's here or whether right. it's in European football. Okay. Right. I've I've, I've actually got two. Okay. Go right, on. Very I've, quickly. I've, right. Ve right. Basically, uh, helicopter Sunday when Celtic were actually one minute away from winning the league and uh, basically Rangers uh, Ra Rangers were 1-1-0, one one was going to finish second. Scott yeah. McDonald equalised yeah. uh, uh, for Motherwell and then scored a the second one. Right. Ra Ra Rangers won the league. Alec McLeish, All right. brilliant. So you're happy with that. OK, what else we got? Uh, the best away ground, Terry likes to ask, and in Europe, the best away ground you've been to. Okay, the be the best away ground in Scotland because of the atmosphere is definitely Tynecastle, uh, because you're so close to the park. Dundee United. No, no. Oh, Jambos. No, Jambos. Jambos. Oh, Jambos. Jambos. Yeah, no, I, 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 I will. I will, oh. I will never go into Tannadice, Dundee no, United. I will not yeah. pay any money. Okay. Uh, Hearts. <laughs> Hearts ground. They're like that. These yeah. Scots. I'm uh, telling you. Hearts. <laughs> Hearts ground. Tynecastle. You're right. You're practically yeah. on the park. And you love it. Oh, it's, uh, the atmosphere's fantastic. How many, um, how many fans? What tickets do they give you there, roughly? Uh, we're, we're, we're getting about 900 now, but we used to get the whole end. <laughs> well, if they had them all like you, no wonder you're only getting 900. I tell you. Um, Favourite second team? Terry likes asking this one. Right, okay, well, I support three teams, right? Yeah. I support three teams. Rangers, Rangers Reserves, yeah. and anyone in the world who's playing Celtic. <laughs> anyone in the world who's playing Celtic. Yeah. You know, so, Aberdeen, Aberdeen don't like us, right? But I support Aberdeen four times a season. Okay, yeah, when they're playing Celtic. Now, Livingston is your nearest club from where you live. Yeah. And I did say to you off air, why not Livingston? Only because your dad, your granddad took you to Rangers and, yeah. and it's a big club and, yeah. and, and yeah. it goes from that, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Fans you dislike the most. All right, listen, I'm, it's, it's, it's an easy question, to be honest with you, mate, and an easy answer. Well, well if, if, you, if you forget Celtic, well, that's going to be the easiest answer in the world. If you forget Celtic, fans you dislike the most? Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Okay, and there's reasons for that. Isn't there's there? reasons for we, that. We, we won't we won't go into that. Ian, um, Ian Durant. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know about that because obviously an, an incident, and I've, yeah. I've spoken to him as you know. I've got a photograph and his signed um, shirt. He came into my yeah. pub, the Plough Inn, not the Plough, world famous corner by many yeah. years. Lovely guy. Best mates with Ali McCoy as well. Yeah. Those two, very thick or very very thick or. Um, what player would you like to buy if you had, if you had a chance of buying? Is there a player that you would love to buy and say, I want him? Oh. A big number nine, a big goalie, a big centre-half? Uh, I, I, I would say Messi. Even Messi. Messi, even now. So the next question is, Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> okay, okay, I can't believe this, I'll tell you. Messi. Yeah, Messi. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you but, got but, one, Terry. You got one back because I think you're you're about one, only one or two up now. Because <laughs> it was all Messi, then it went Ronaldo. Uh, yeah. I'm a Ronaldo fan. Uh, no, and me, 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 Messi every day. Would you like Harry Maguire as your centre half? Absolutely not. Oh, I thought he was going to say yeah. Why not? No. 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 Nah, nah, he's no. Nah. He's what? Nah, what is he? He's just not my type of player. Not your type of player. You nah. mean no? No. Nah, he's uh, England international. He's an England England international, but no, nah, sorry. 
No, no, de definitely not. Right, okay, right. That's all my questions. You've got a little bit of memorabilia. Yeah. We've got five minutes to go. We're going to see what he's got and give us a little bit of information. This is a fantastic one. You will love this, all you Rangers fans. Right. Go on, son. Okay, this is a limited edition uh, medal collection uh, to celebrate our 150 years, right? And it goes through it goes through some of the very sort of important dates in our, our diary. You know, like 1972 when we beat... Uh, Moscow Dynamo 3-2 uh, uh, to win the European Cup Winners Cup, our only ever European uh, trophy. Uh, when we won in 1997, nine in a row. Uh, and Stevie G, when we stopped Celtic winning 10 in a row to, to win our 55th uh, title. Uh, Ibrox Stadium, which is an absolute uh, dream of a home to have, and uh, hopefully it never gets renamed or anything. I'm not into that. I no. Ibrox is its name. Yeah. And our founding fathers, who without all this wouldn't have been important if it wasn't for these four young lads that were uh, walking through yeah. Glasgow Green, and uh, they, you know, they they wanted to form a football club, and they did. They didn't have any money, but they formed a football club which came on to be the fantastic Precious, institution. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, right. right, I think we've got a couple of more minutes left, Tim. Yeah, a couple of more minutes. Come, okay. on, come on, sir. Right, let me... Let me, let me in here. He, even, he, he, he's even given me inspiration of this, I tell you. I love it, mate. Absolutely right. love it. Right, this one. This one is an absolute fantastic programme that I'll ne never part with, right? 1976, right? The Scottish Cup final, right? on the 1st of May, which happens to be my brother's birthday, to be fair. Yeah. But uh, that, that is quite a famous uh, cup final because Rangers were 1-0 up in that cup final before the game actually started. The referee got his watch wrong, right? Looked at it and says, yeah, three o'clock, let's kick off. Rangers actually were 1-0 up two minutes before three o'clock. Uh, Big Derek Johnson scored. Which, Derek, Big Derek Johnson. Big Derek Johnson. Oh, no, Rangers also won the treble that year as well, which for anyone that doesn't know, it's winning the league, the Scottish Cup and the League, league Cup, Cup yeah, which, yeah. Uh, which is great. That was in 1976. Fantastic. Energy. I thought I had energy. Yeah. 1973, right? Uh, Celtic versus Rangers. And that was when Celtic were absolutely going through their nine in a row. Okay. They, they were they were giants at, at the time. Yeah. Anyway, Ranger, Rangers went to, uh, as underdogs, we, we went there. And Rangers won that 3-2, right? Now, that final, to my knowledge, is the only final that royalty actually presented the Scottish Cup. Uh, and that was Princess Alexandria, and she pr she presented the Scottish Cup. Now, a couple of wee facts about uh, that game, because uh, in this modern day age of football, that would have got the, well, it, it probably wouldn't have finished 3-2 to Rangers, because John Gregg, our captain, he actually got, uh, he actually would have got sent off had it been in the modern era, because he actually uh, dived across the goal and turned the ball round, fantastic save, with his hands nice. round it. And Celtic got a penalty, they did score, but John thought, well, they might miss the penalty, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that was the kind of guy that was. He didn't get uh, sent off then? He didn't get sent off. No. I don't even think he got booked. I don't even think he got booked. Different for rules then. Different yeah, rules, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the winning goal was scored by Tam Forsyth, who unfortunately, big motherwell man actually, yeah. uh, who uh, is no longer with us. And he actually, without a, a, a lie, he touched the ball on the goal line, it hit off, it hit off the, the post, rolled along the line, and actually before it went in, to win, to win the cup. Absolutely fantastic. Right, okay. Go on then, one more. Right, one more. One right, more. Go one, on, more. This one, is, more, one more. He can go for hours, can he? This is, this is, this is John yeah. Gregg, the greatest ever Ranger, right? 755 appearances, only played for one club, right? Doesn't happen in this day and age now. No, no. Anyway, and he's still employed by Glasgow Rangers now. Yeah, yeah, he's still, and he's he's coming up on 80, you know what I mean? Fantastic. Still employed, right? Absolutely, slit his, sl slit his wrist, it spells Rangers, without a doubt. Anyway, this was his testimonial in 1978, right? Now, the reason I tell you this, right, is it was playing Scotland Select, right? So... If MD can work it out, 1978 was Argentina, the World Cup. Ali McLeod convinced every single Scotsman Scotland were going to win 
the World Cup, right? Okay. We're on our march with Ali's army, if you remember the I song. Do, yeah. yeah, remember the song, yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. so lots of the players that went to uh, to Argentina, right? Actually played Rangers for John Gregg's testimonial. Rangers won 5 0, right? Rangers um, won 5 0. Now, granted, we had a good team. Yeah. We won the treble in 78 as well, right? Yeah, yeah. However, there must have been somebody should have been saying, wait, a cotton picking minute. <laughs> Scotland are no very good. No, no, they're uh, good. Anyway, sure. so, so there you go. Uh, so thanks for listening, guys. And uh, Oh, listen to me. That, yeah. is, that is, listen, you've, you've taken me up to another level with this uh, show today. Your knowledge, your dates, uh, information that you've got of your football club is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm going to tell all my existing viewers and there's going to be, I know for a fact, a lot, a lot of new viewers of Rangers Football Club all around the world. We're going to make this show big. We're going to bring Rangers on. And what we're going to do, I know for a fact, he's got lots and lots more to produce and to show me. So in two or three months' time, when we're further down the line, no bother, baby. you will come on, please. I'll and, come on, yeah. And you'll bring in, you'll bring in your stuff, because we've done yeah. all our bits yeah, and yeah. pieces. Yeah. It's going to be your show next yeah. time, not mine. <laughs> You're absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So all I can say yeah. is, Paul Stewart, yeah. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. All we need to do for me to come on yes, is mate. for Rangers to be in a good position. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing the way. I'm not coming but in for five points or something no, behind Celtic. No. But listen, at the end of the day, you're going to come before Christmas yeah. and there's lots of games. But oh, yeah, 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 loads. Listen, all I'm going to say is from a beautiful sunny morning in my manor, Kaleo Slovaki in Tenerife, if you like what you see and you like what you hear, please subscribe to Webby Sports Roundup. It's free. It's going to go big. We're going to go massive, as they all say, and we're going to enjoy ourselves. So from me, Paul, my bottle washer, my cameraman, my producer, and my... Director. Oh, Director. I, I always get one wrong. Can't believe it. I couldn't remember. And from Tim, have a great afternoon. Take care. Okay. Uh, auto 39 4K. Here we go. So it's just going to be the 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 things. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So just keep it steady. Oh, shadow. Don't want that. I can't bloody see. Hang on. I'm going to do it blind. Okay. Now.